Hi, it's Nancy. This is number 36. We're looking at bags. I have another Nordstrom bag. It looks similar to the others we saw in the last episode because the birds are the same species. The bag is a similar theme design, although I can tell that the paper is less substantial. Let's see if I can let you hear the difference. Yes, also the handle is less plush now. Oh, the evolution of the bag design. This year, Once Upon a Holiday was the theme. They had the same snowflake pattern bottom and sides. <clears throat> and they all lived happily ever after. This is a big Godiva bag for chocolate. It's very large. I think large boxes of chocolate could be carted off with this one. There's their famous Lady Godiva nakedly riding horseback, bareback for chocolate. The bag is made in Indonesia. Can you see the fabric of the bag? It's uh, almost like corduroy. It makes that sound. Nothing on the inside. They've got folded over paper with tied in handles that are hoodie like. And there's uh, also a very small one. We may have seen one like this elsewhere. Uh, also made in Indonesia. Kind of fascinating that they print that in gold on the bottom of the bag. Oh, here's maybe one of the oldest bags in this collection. It's from 1988. And the store is Neiman Marcus. Back then, they, they would still use the word Christmas, and nobody thought a thing about it. This is copyrighted. It's a collaboration between Neiman Marcus and the artist, whose name appears here, André Francois, who was a French artist, now deceased. Um, he was famous for cartoon-type art, and here's his creation for the collaboration with Neiman Marcus. They don't tell you where it was made. The paper, at that time, nobody was doing fancy bags, I don't think. Um, this is... I mean, what's fancy is that there's some gloss, okay, it's shiny, but um, and look, you can see they have their name across the side. The serrated top with taped in twisted paper handles would not be considered upscale now. 35-year-old bag. Cheers.